Hey, what's up, Men's Health? I'm Lucas Gage, and I'm here at Dog Pound with my trainer, Zach, who is better looking, more snatched, <laughs> skinnier version of me, and we are gonna show you how to train like me. Woo! That's how we do it. Movie magic, baby, let's go. Hell yeah, his daily routine is all about that cardio, getting that heart rate up, keeping him nice and lean. All right, first thing, we got a nice little rope moving right here. More cardio base, I'd say. But again, upper body, his shoulders. Look at those deltoids working through. We're going for a long, lean, summer body. So we're getting shredded, but we're not trying to get too big and, and bodybuilder body. We're trying to get like swimmer's body here. And I like to mix it up with the cardio. Do things that are a little, you know, a little different than just running on a treadmill. Woo. Let's go. Phew. Next one is the tire flip, so we're gonna use that power of his lower half and flip this thing again. We like this one because it makes me feel like I'm in Fast and the Furious. <laughs> <laughs> I like to use my physique and incorporate and infuse that into the character. For me, Adam Pratt was all about looking snatched. He didn't care about being healthy, so it was maybe a little bit of unhealthy ways to get a six pack. I tend to fluctuate, I'm a little bit thicker than a snicker when I'm not <laughs> on a hardcore workout with this guy. So as a former chubby child, it still lives there in me. I'm still that, that little boy who loves his cake. Woo! That's it. <sighs> you only need about eight reps of those, and then you're ready to pass out. Woo! Cooked. All right, next we have a sled push right here. This is actually definitely in our routine heavily. It's just such an awesome exercise. Heart rate, once again, very similar to the tire flip in that it's very aggressive, very powerful. And uh, this guy packs a punch. He got some speed behind him for sure. Now, I love this one because I hate running. I try to do any kind of cardio that doesn't involve running. And this is fun. Again, it's different. It's not that normal, boring cardio. Here at the Dog Pound, we like to incorporate a little bit of bondage into our workouts. <laughs> To say that we do a lot of core would be a severe understatement. We're always doing abs, as you can see. I'm all about a tight core. It's more important to me than big arms or big legs, and it means less injuries, better mobility. Tuck his knees in his chest. And I bet you didn't know Lucas Cage was tatted up, baby. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, they know. Inked up, baby. Inked up. Being nude in White Lotus was an eye opener. I have a flat ass. It's square. I was mortified. And since then, I've been working on having a good ass. So the body needs to be balanced. You can't have a strong, heavy front half and a weak ass. You gotta keep that shit in check. Can I say shit? Yeah, we gotta keep that shit in check. So I'm just as horrified as you guys, but you better bet the next time I'm showing my ass, it's gonna be plump. Into the push up, full burpee, boom, and he's up on the box. Yeah, get it. And if you're feeling really crazy, you lose the step off. Just jump. Ooh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Men's Health, for coming to hang out with me. I'm off to Canada to play a slutty cat villain in a new superhero show. Oh my god, I'm so upset. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Men's Health for coming out with my trainer Zach today at Dog Pound. Thanks for working out with me. This former chubby asthmatic kid that had a goal of being in Hollywood. All you need is a trainer and hard work ethic. I and mean, that was perfect. <laughs>